What's up guys, that got the pencil here, back for another edition of 3 Minute Thursdays, and we are back at it. We've been out of here for a little bit, but we're back in action, boys and girls, let's get it. So, um, some of my, some of my series ended while I was gone, I, I couldn't help it, so to give quick reviews, um, Paradox, Time Paradox Ghost Rider, fantastic ending, I felt like that was gonna be a shorter manga, I don't think that one got cancelled, I just think that that was the entire premise of the story. There were there are a little bit elements of it getting canceled, like they introduced a whole ton of characters for nothing in the end, but like, I still think that's fine. Then for the other series that ended, I, I had the vibes, I definitely had the vibes that um, Bone Collection was getting canceled. Like that, that that is no doubt in my mind, that was not an end of story thing. Like that's not where the author planned to take the story, it literally just got canceled. I saw that coming. Sad, sad to say it, I'm, up, I'm good at predicting those things. <laughs> I say that, like I only had the one, but still, there we go. There's my view on that. I still think it was it was an okay series. Like, 5 out of 10 for that series, 9 out of 10 for Time Paradox Ghost Rider. Really enjoyed that one. And another series that kind of just like popped up and ended, it was a limited series anyway. Burn the Witch, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I need to still read Bleach, because I, I just need to still read Bleach, but... <laughs> Other than that, I think that was great work by Taite Kubo. I think he did a fantastic job for that limited series. Apparently he's getting an anime. That's cool. Anime is always nice. Even though I personally don't watch it that much. <laughs> and I think that's really it for all the things that I've missed series ending wise. And then picked up a couple new series on the way there. So, speaking of... Actually, you know what? Do I attack the new series first? Yeah, I'll attack the new series first. So I'll go with Our Blood Oath. That came out three weeks ago, and it's all right so far. It's an uh, interesting world. I got misled by the first chapter a little bit, but then I realized, oh, it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis. It's just these two brothers going out doing things. You know, the little one's a vampire. The older one's sworn to the vampire. There we go. First chapter, nice introductory chapter. Very solid. Set up the premise really well. Showed off the int interesting world that we're living in. A whole ton of spirits. As of recent, like a lot of new manga coming out, seem to be very, very spirit based, and not exactly sure to take that. But hey, I personally don't mind it. I think it's pretty cool. So for the next one, actually no, no, let, let me talk about what's happened. So in the second chapter, it was just the younger brother learning how to live on his own, which is nice, I guess. It was very much a, just a moral chapter for him specifically. Then for chapter three, it was this girl it was mainly attention around this girl who was possessed by another spirit who had a crush on the older brother but the older brother has this suspicious best friend who is apparently hunting vampires or something like that something something of the sort something of the sort when it comes to that but in terms of anything else i'm not really sure about that series eh. 7 out of 10? Like, I don't know. I like the artwork. I think the series direction is fine. I just don't have much to say about it. That's the thing. But another series that I'm actually... That's shaping up to like it a lot is Phantom Seer. That came out a good five weeks ago. I think it's very, very solid so far. Had a weird introductory chapter, but it's already picking up the pace. I like... Once again, more spirits. Not really sure why we have a... We're on sudden spirit kick in Shonen Manga. Maybe it's always been like that, and I've just never noticed, but more spirits, phantoms, I like it. The main characters are good. They're really, really solid. And the newest side character they introduced, um, the main character is Rival. Seems like a really cool guy. I like it. All around. I would talk much about Chapter 5, but once again, it's a very much an introductory chapter where I don't have much to say about it. It's just more a continuation of the setup in Chapter 4. Don't have much to say. Moving on, I ended up picking up Mashal, Magic and Muscles. I actually haven't read the beginning of the series. I just started reading it week by week. And it's in an interesting spot. I need to read the beginning of the series. I need to find a way to read that. Well, honestly, it seems interesting enough. I recommend the series. Like, if you can find it somewhere, read it, catch up. I think it's very, very good. It has. It seems to be in a really interesting spot right now. I already like the concept. Uh, an actual... My Hero Academia, an actual person with no magical power using their physicality and whatever else they have. Still don't know that much about the series, still gonna catch up and try to read it at a later point. There we go with that, Magical Magic and Muscles. 
mushrooms. Uh, current chapter, I'd say that was a solid 9 out of 10. That was good. Like, I don't even know the full setup, but, like, from what little I know about the world, the way that the main character is interacting with the current main villain, doing good. Um, Undead Unluck. So a lot happened while I was gone. <laughs> Basically, with Undead Unluck, it's, um... One of the nine roundtable members, no, ten roundtable members, betrayed them. And, uh, he has the ability to steal other abilities, which is cool. I, there's just no foundation for the betrayal anywhere that I, that at least I could see. I thought he was a good guy, but, like, the betrayal didn't hurt me. It hurt, um, Tatiana. But, like, that's it. I don't, I don't know. And now they're fighting him, and they just froze Burn. So, there's that. I don't know, Undead and Luck is in a weird spot right now, like, I, I still I still praise the series, I still think it's good, I still think you should go read it, I still give the current chapter like a 7 out of 10, however, it's in a, it's in an interesting spot right now, I'd say keep an eye on it, but maybe not expect too much, I don't know, I, like, I'm getting the bad vibes, the bad, like, oh no, we may be getting cancelled vibes, that's what I'm picking up from the series right now, because a lot of people are in, like, dire straits at the moment. And this seems like some final villain endgame stuff, even though we were just introduced to the rival organization. So, I don't know. The, the series could go either way. It could be just a weird start of a new arc, or it could be approaching cancellation. Whichever shows up first. Now, to move on to the next manga. Um, Ayakashi Triangle? I mean, we meet the younger brother. I mean, that's cool. Ayakashi Triangles, once again, weird spot right now. It's I think it's just doing more establishing and transitioning rather than anything meaty and substantial. Like, they, it had the fact that Suzu, as an Akashi medium, can do more than the average human would due to her powers and her connection, her high spirit energy or whatever. That's cool. That's the only thing that really missed. That's the only substantial information we've really gotten. So there's that. Six out of ten. Right. <laughs> Once again, it's just not much is happening, and that's always my issue with certain manga. And the and the weekly format in general, not much happens chapter by chapter. It's usually like once you get a month of chapters, something hefty, something substantial actually occurs. Um, Mori King, still a fantastic comedy manga, still working really really well. I called it. I knew the mom ate the pudding. That was the only thing I called and understood off rip. That's what I got. Other than that, perfectly fine. I, uh, it's not one of the funnier chapters, and I then I honestly like the side characters and like other competitive rulers and kings more so than the than Mori King himself. Like Mori King is still funny in of himself the entire I Ashikawa? I forget their fa I forget the family name. The entire family is hilarious. I like seeing more of the dad. But I do really like the butterfly more. So I always miss seeing him when he's on a chapter. To speak on... What is left? Oh, uh, Ghost Reaper Girl. Interesting place, once again. We're very much in setup. But that makes sense. We're only six chapters in. So they're obviously still just doing whatever setup they have to do for the rest of the series to make sense. So I can't really comment much on it. Um, Looks like... The main character can fuse with whatever spirit she wants as long as they're loyal to her. So that's cool to know. And that's really it. Like, this 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 week is very much uh, that really it. Not much happened, like, hefty story-wise while I was gone until we get to Dr. Stone. A lot, of hap a lot happened in Dr. Stone while I was away. So um, we got to the castle. We had the entire dog fight. Stanley took over the ship. We got Mozu being legend that Mozu is. My boy Mozu, I'm telling you, bro. He's gonna be one of the, he's gonna be a divinity character by the end of this series. If he keeps on his projection, Moses is gonna be fantastic. Masukaze pulled up, smacking away grenades. The whole takeover with the ship was epic. The dogfight was epic. Bro, the fact that they broke in and just captured Stanley. No, not Stanley. Oh my god, Dr. Zeno, all that fire. And the way Dr. Zeno in the latest chapter tried to manipulate Chrome, but you can't manipulate Chrome. Chrome, I think he slipped up. Like Slipped up into Divinity. Like, I already want to redo my Dr. Stone tier list. My boy at Chrome out here proving it. He's wondering why I put him only in Perfection. Like, 
he, he's wondering why why I, kept, I, I slipped up like that. I'm sorry, Chrome. I didn't realize you were going to be this legendary. And now we're in a really interesting spot where technically both sides are holding hostages. Stanley is holding the hostage of the ship, but that's like holding it's like holding a bishop. Like because it, it keeps relating the game to chess. The uh, story keeps relating itself to chess. So it's like they're holding a bishop in terms of their viability in regards to what they have, what Stanley has. Meanwhile, they got Senku has their king in check. He literally has Dr. Zeno. They have the most powerful warriors. All of the all of Zeno's kingdom has is the modern weaponry, which is going to be very important. I can tell that, but I still think we're in a great spot. Dr. Stone. Whew, easy peak in the charts easy 9 out of 10 easy 10 out of 10 honestly this is chapter well the, the the previous progression of chapters fantastic oh i also presented an interesting thing about uh, dr zeno and how he finds morals more of an obstacle rather than a guiding line very very interesting i feel like that was put in there on purpose and we're gonna see senku change him with time now to hit up my hero academia you know now, I knew nothing would happen over four four weeks, but like, I'm sad nothing <laughs> happens over four weeks. Like, <sighs> we're in the spot where My Hero Academia, where we're just we're just fighting Shigaraki again, except now we have a somewhat interesting point. Baku goes in jeopardy because all for one, Shigaraki finally just gave the body up to all for one. So I guess that fake scene where he destroyed all for one in his mind was just a lie, because of course it was. Of course it was. And I saw was disabled. I guess that's fine. Nothing's happened. Like, <laughs> hopefully something will happen soon. That's all I'm saying with My Hero Academia. Just, just, I mean, I keep poking at My Hero Academia with a stick. Just, like, do something. Please. Please. Come on now. I know you can. Just do it. Man, I need to I need to praise my Hero Academia suit somewhere sometime because I just keep attacking. <laughs> okay, and then for the final manga we're gonna talk about, Hard Boiled Cop and Dolphin. I like it. The latest character, the Swordfish, I believe he was. I forget what his name technically is in the story itself. I think he's really really good. I think his entire little arc with um fighting. I think his fight with Orpheus, great. Honestly, didn't think that the manga was going to be that good with action, though I should have known from the early chapters. That was great. I feel like the entire, this entire little arc was just really, really interesting. The the red herring that was them going to the fish palace for some legendary purpose, only for it to be that the, the girl that was trying to take that human man underwater was literally just hunting for a husband. I think that's all good. I think everything's really, really solid with Hard World Cop and Dolphin. I say it's a solid 8 out of 10. For this chapter specifically, and the entire arc is really, really solid. Kind of wish we saw more of the um, Hammerhead guy, but other than that, I say we're doing pretty darn good. Yeah, so overall, not, not, nothing insane, at least in the series I'm reading. A lot of series ended while I was gone, but in terms of the series I'm reading, nothing crazy has happened just yet. Nothing that's going to make me flip my lid outside of, you know, them having Zeno and Stanley having the ship and Dr. Stone. There's that. But other than that, I do, I'm good. I've already hit all the chapters. I recommend you go read every single manga I talked about because they need the support. And I don't think any of these manga are bad. Like, if, if I think a manga is bad, I'll tell you outright and, and tell you I'm not reading it anymore. I've dropped manga before in this series already. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We are on the road to 1K right now. I need y'all support. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is That Guy with the Pencil writing off.